Before I begin, I'd just like to add a quick post-edit note into the beginning of this video. If you didn't watch my last video with Father Time, I'd recommend watching at least the first minute or two of that video, because there's a clip at the beginning that sort of sets up this Let's Play. And also, uh, for the full story, I'd recommend watching my Don Lothario Cinema. <laughs> it's like a lot of backstory for this. I think you can probably get the gist of it though from just the intro of my last video. This was supposed to be one video. So I switched over to the Sims 3 version of Strange Town, and this is actually a world I downloaded a while ago by Aaron Rogers AI3. I'll include a link to the world in the description, but it's basically a combination world of Strange Town for the PC, DS, and PSP. So I think there are Sims from all of these games in the world. I actually haven't played the DS or PSP version of The Sims 2 yet, so I'm not familiar with some of those Sims, but this is actually a really cool world. It's, it's bigger than The Sims 2 Strange Town for PC, obviously, because it's a Sims 3 world. It looks really great during the day. Uh, the one thing I would say about it is that if you play it during the night time, it is a little dark, especially outside of this built-up area here. But in a way, that's kind of realistic, I think. There's also a crash saucer here. It's like the Sims 2 saucer that's been moved over. I think all of the cacti and uh, stuff like that is also a conversion from The Sims 2, which is pretty cool. The crate is here too. It's over here, and there's actually a little lot here, so you can actually like build a house there. Um, there's a motel on the other side of town. There's this sign outside, and I thought it was really clever how they made this actually. They used some like pillars and then a wall, and then you know, added this painting to it. Um, and this is just awesome. I love this pool. You can fish down here. I added this junkyard here because he's going to need a junkyard for what we're going to be doing. And there wasn't one in the town as far as I could see. There was already a version of Vidkind in this world, so I decided to modify him and pretend he's The Sims 2 Vidkind. And then the Vidkind that exists in this reality has basically disappeared some years ago. So basically Vidkind is going to have to try and figure out a way to get back to his reality in The Sims 2. Since the Vidkind in this world is supposed to not be in this world because he's disappeared, um, he can't live with the Curious Brothers. So there was actually this little house over here and I decided to sort of pretend it was this recently abandoned place. <laughs> I've got the uh, university object here though because I haven't moved that yet. So this is where Vidkind is going to be staying for the time being. I changed his outfit. This isn't actually what the Vidkind in this world looks like, but I thought this was slightly closer to what he was wearing in The Sims 2. And I also changed his personality traits slightly. So I set his household funds to zero because I realised I didn't do that before, and realistically he wouldn't have any simoleons after he's just come over here um, and moved into this abandoned house. So, sorry Vidkind, you're losing, losing money. These are the traits I've given him. And he has loner because his personality, I think, is not very outgoing in The Sims 2. And he's neat, like in The Sims 2. And then these are just sort of related to what we're going to be doing. I've given him the eccentric trait because we're going to be inventing stuff. There is actually a time machine you can build in The Sims 3. So that's what I think I'm going to do. I don't know how the routing works here. How do you actually get down there? <laughs> I had an idea, but this might not be particularly fun to watch, so I may stop doing this. So I was doing this in another save I had, um, where basically I would get my sims to walk everywhere, because they were living on a kind of tropical island, and so I was pretending that there were no vehicles until they kind of leveled up. No, we're not going to be able to get down there, are we? <laughs> that is not the way. Okay, um, probably should have thought about how I can actually get down there. So yeah. Uh, in the other world, what I was basically doing was I sort of had a requirement so that when they get a certain amount of simoleons, they could build different kinds of community lots on the island, and I was using um, Sunlit Tides, I think it's called, the store world. This is completely unrelated to this though, I don't know why I'm talking about it, but basically the sims in that world, I would make them walk everywhere until I unlocked the ability for them to have cars and taxis and stuff like that. There's some sim over there. <laughs> That's the... Is that the university mascot from before? Is he just walking? <laughs> oh god, that's great! He's just- he must be boiling in that suit though, this is the desert! It's very scenic though, I really like desert towns. I don't know why. Oh, it's already 5pm. <laughs> I love how the mascot always does that really perky walk no matter where he is. Okay, so we're finally on the road. This is the military base. 
once he gets some money, then I'll allow him to use taxis and stuff. I should go dumpster diving here. We could do that. I'm not too far away. Okay. So I think we're going to go dumpster diving and see if he gets anything useful from the dumpster as we head over to the other area. He's not going to like this because he's a very neat sim. Well, I actually don't know how neat sims in this game react to this sort of thing, but, you know, <laughs> he shouldn't like this because it sort of goes against his neat trait. A firefly lutius was found by... I'm not sure how you pronounce that. He found a firefly in the bin. But it doesn't look like he's collected it. He's collected a lot of seeds. Also, this camera. We're going to pretend he doesn't have that, though, because you can sell it for quite a bit, but that feels like cheating. He found a stereo. Oh, that's going into his family inventory, right? God, his hygiene is like zero now. <laughs> Just kick the bin. No, he's gonna, he's gonna throw up. Oh, look, there's an ice cream. But we can't buy one right now. Sorry, Vidkind. Maybe later. Well, that's the motel over there, so that's the direction we need to go. And then we need to find some food. Throw up. Oh no. Poor Vidkind. Who's- I think that's Erin Beaker. We have to keep walking. Oh, that's just taunting Vidkind. Pancakes. He's enjoying his solitude, that's at least one good thing about this. That's the Spectre household over there. Is it Respawn Pawn Shop? That's a very appropriate name in this situation. Okay, so I placed the two and set this up as a consignment store, but it does say that the store is closed. But he is really hungry. I'm pretending that his fridge isn't stopped since it's an abandoned house, so he still has to find food somewhere. And he can't stay in the motel right now because he doesn't have any money. This is pretty ironic, but you can't harvest plants when your sim is too hungry. Like, <laughs> how does that make any sense? You need to eat, but you can't harvest food because you're too hungry. To That's the video. Vidkin just died because he was too hungry to harvest plants. I may have to come up with another idea. Okay, well, desperate times call for desperate measures. We're gonna visit the Spectre house, and hopefully it won't be too late by the time we get there, because they're just over that hill. I know, Vidkund, but we're gonna get food soon. Well, that depends on whether Olive wants to serve us or not. <laughs> or add us to our garden. I think Ophelia would give us food. Even if Olive doesn't. There's Olive. These are just remains though, they're not actually, unfortunately, they're not actually named after the sims that are in the graveyard usually. So we're going in, and hopefully she's not going to tell us to leave before she makes us food. Make us food! Can we ask her for food? He's not a mooch, so I don't think we can ask for money or anything, which I'm realising now is a problem. <laughs> I think we might die here. This isn't looking good. Somebody needs to buy it. I mean... Make Vidkin food. He's too hungry to harvest the plants. Sim logic. What if he just steals the food? Oh, you don't want to steal food from Olive though. What if we just end the conversation? Maybe she'll just automatically go and make some food. Nope. Olive, where are you going? No, oh, you know what? This works. This works. We're going to steal some food while Olive is busy with whatever she's doing. What are we going to make? We're going to grab some cereal. I mean, Olive, you did kill all these people. Allegedly. So... <gasps> Ophelia's waking up. No! We don't- Oh no! No, 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 no! Vidkin is behaving inappropriately. That's true, actually. Put away leftovers. No. I'm just eating it. We're just gonna eat it. We'll just pretend that she let us off this time. We, we need to get out of here though before she kills us because it's Olive. No, don't worry about cleaning up. <laughs> Neat trait is a detriment right now. Okay. 
We need to stock up on some more food. No, not yet. Come on, just a bit further. Oh god, <laughs> no we can't, okay. Alright. Let's take a nap. And then I'm going to have him shower at the community pool. Onions, that's not, that's not really a great uh, source of food, but we can't be picky right now. So he can have some bell peppers too. Bell peppers are pretty nice. I've snacked on those before. I think I'm going to pretend that it costs 10 simoleons to take a taxi, so as long as he has 10 simoleons then he can take taxis. It's a light, right? But it's got brick texture on the lampshade. That's interesting. Is it time? I think he might be the consignment store specialist. Yes, we can go back and sell our stuff. I don't know how long this place is staying open for, but we won't have endless time, so we're going to have to have a quick shower and then head over there so we can sell the stuff. I thought there was a shower on this community lot. Why wouldn't the pool have a shower? <laughs> Why is there a fireplace here? We've got some more plants over here that we could harvest. No, don't just stand in the middle of the road, Vidkund. You're gonna get run over. Even though cars magically pass through sims. I hope the store's still open. If not, we can just camp out in this area until tomorrow, I guess. Wait, what? What's happening? Oh, I've fallen asleep. Damn it. Wake up, Vidkund. No! <laughs> no! Oh, cars! Vidkund! We're so close! We're gonna nap on this when he leaves. Let's go um, dig through some scrap while we're waiting for him to move, reading his book. I have a mod, actually, that, and it, assuming it's working, I should be able to um, upgrade these random objects. Because you, all you can do with them in The Sims 3 is detonate them, which is kind of a shame. And so I downloaded a mod that allows you to uh, fix the junkyard objects. So actually, he might get his wish after all. No! <laughs> Why? Why have you done this, Sims 3? All he wanted was a washing machine and dryer. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can edit this lot and move it. <laughs> Why? You know what, I'm gonna cheat and get him back there. This wasn't- random teleportations were not part of the- We're moving all the way back down here. This doesn't count. Leisure day is approaching, not for Vidkunt. He's got a lot of work to do. It's very dark here now, I think it's actually gotten darker. I think the guy showed up yesterday at about 8am. One thing that would be really cool would be if you could like salvage random broken cars from junkyards. I'm sort of torn between just selling this or like only selling the stuff that it says that you can sell as part of gameplay. I can't seem to do anything with this, I don't know if it's because it's just too damaged, but that's slightly disappointing. Um, I'll have to check how that mod works. I can't even sell that gem I found, it's just food. I think these items will sell at about 5pm today, so I'll just sell a few of these. And he's pretty hungry, so we're gonna eat a potato. Oh, Fidkin was invited to a party. No, this is party. At the Beaker household. I don't think he dislikes Loki as much as he should in this world, actually. It's disappointing that you can't sell stuff like radios that are in the inventory. 
I think you should be able to, but you can't. But I am <laughs> committed to this now, so... I'm gonna see if we can uh, sell the iguana in a minute. Oh, I think he wants to keep it. He wants to buy a terranium. Cinder. That's the default one. Hmm, what would Vidkind call an iguana? I'm just gonna stick with the default name, I think. He's not gonna be able to take this iguana back with him, though. So... He'll have to leave it with, um, Pascal and Laszlo, maybe, before he returns. Oh, cool. So we did sell some stuff. Now we have some money and we can actually use a taxi to get to places. It really does take a long time when you don't have high fishing skill to get anything. Okay, I'm gonna leave that for now. We'll go here. And then I'm gonna remove 10 simoleons. Oh, it's a horse. some dumpster diving places here but it's pointless because we can't sell the stuff unless I find a store that accepts that but I'm pretty sure there's nowhere other than okay so we now have to remove 10 and uh, that should be 85 there we go we're gonna go by taxi and just take the money out of Vidkin's funds because I don't know it'll be quicker actually it's really not a long walk from here, but oh well. We're saving seconds. Everyone's probably going to leave the party because it's a bit late. What is that over there? Cures that. I don't know what that is, actually. Oh. Metal Metal Teleport to shop. That's interesting. It's gonna tinker with this. Or not, because his mood is too low. <laughs> he needs to reverse engineer the teleportation device. He shouldn't be allowed to do this, but he's gonna sneakily take a shower. Vidkind is behaving inappropriately. He hasn't done anything yet. Nervous knows people's intent. Oh wait, I need to take the money off before I forget. 75. Pascal is here. Still behaving inappropriately. We're not gonna get invited back. <laughs> Loki's making food now. In the dark. In the glowing red dark. Okay, the food's ready, so now we can have some hot, well, tofu dogs. Still here at the party. That's technically over now. <laughs> Just steal in your food. It needs the workbench, so we need 1,250 simoleons, so we've got quite a way to go to get to that amount, really. It's getting late, perhaps it's time to leave. No! We're living here now, we've moved in. No! We lost Cinder! Didn't even get to play with the iguana! Oh, he's thinking about his iguana that's missing. It would really help if he had a tent or something now. There's some abandoned places here, maybe something we can sleep in. I'm gonna go and have a nap in this abandoned barn. I feel like you should be able to sit on these. That would be cool. I don't know what's going on here. There's like some kind of shrine to this sim over here. We can't visit the house if nobody's round, can we? <laughs> we kind of need like Loki and Cersei to leave, but Nervous to still be there. Because I feel like that's the setup that would most make sense here. Visit France? Vidkin, you don't- <laughs> You have 65 simoleons and need to buy an inventing table. We don't have time or money for that. 
Oh, more consignment stuff is sold today. Okay, let's head to Pascal's now. Someone's knocked over the bin. We're going to pick that up because that seems like something Vidkin would do. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't seem appropriately shocked, really, considering. Like, Vidkin, why are you alive? I want him to finish cooking, so we'll, <laughs> we'll postpone this conversation for snacks. Just continue. Okay, now you can join the conversation. Although you do need the toilet, apparently. Wants to see a concert. It's a lot of a lot of its wants right now aren't really related to the uh, this complicated situation. Okay. Well, I think that's more important. Compliment cleverness. That's not really what I wanted to do, actually. Oh, okay. Apparently, we can't have a deep conversation right now. We're gonna compliment his cooking, even though we haven't eaten any. <laughs> What? Aslo, that's Vidkin's room. I feel like that's how it's set up to be, but I don't know, 100%. Vidkin is just breaking all the toilets. <laughs> you're supposed to be a ha Oh no, Vidkin, why? You're just, you're just trash in the place. Vidkin, why? You're supposed to be a handy sim. Wow, that's rude. Okay, well, I guess we're not fixing the sink then. Still in our pajamas. <laughs> well, at least we got a little bit of sleep in beforehand. We can nap on these though, because they're technically outside the house. That's technically leisure day today. <laughs> He was unable to pay his most recent tax bill. The town has given him a temporary loan, but that will only last so long. Oh. Yeah, that's because I think the family funds cheat in this game affects every household, so I'm technically depleting their money every time I do this, which isn't so good. I don't know why he cheered, because he technically lost that. Okay, I'm gonna sell these insects over here. I heard you know your way around a diving board. I was hoping to throw a pool party. Well, I was already there, but now I've left. What's your sign? You're stealing my stuff. 84 simoleons. We have a long way to go still. No one here. I'm gonna hide in the bushes until they return. Maybe we should hide around the back of the house. Even though there's like a completely open archway here, you can't get into the house magically unless someone's in there and lets you in. Somebody's arrived. Who's back? It's Nervous. I feel like Nervous wouldn't care too much about what we're up to. So we're gonna visit the house now before Cersei and Loki get back. Mardunsa. Igla. Okay, I'm gonna go and tinker with this. We have to watch out to make sure Cersei and Loki haven't come back. Don't know where Nervous is right now. <laughs> He's just chilling. He's just chilling on the uh, the roof. 
Oh god, gotta eat something quickly. Eat a lime and then continue tinkering. I think when he gets a skill point, like, I'll just pretend that once he's gotten the skill point from tinkering, that's enough knowledge or something. I don't know. Come on, Vidkind. You can do it. We're almost there. Did you do it? Okay. Oh no, Nervous is coming out. Oh no, Nervous is definitely seen. Oh no! <laughs> we have to leave. But it's okay, we got what we needed, we can leave now. Run, Vidkid, run! Just pretend that we were here for legitimate reasons. Quickly, Vidkind! Loki hasn't seen yet, he's gone upstairs. We need to get out of this area quickly. Why are you walking so slowly, Vidkid? We are supposed to be running away. Never mind that, you just know! You just, the phone doesn't matter right now. Yeah, a message from no one, exactly. Oh god. Do you think Loki has noticed yet? I mean, where is Loki? Loki's heading up there, so he hasn't actually seen what's happened to his teleportation device yet, so we still have time to get away. Keep heading down here. Okay. So... You can sleep when you've run away sufficiently. We're not far enough away yet. Let's give that a go. We'll see what happens later. Olive's in her garden again. Is she gonna go sit on the seat? What's she reading? Commitment issues. I've subtracted 10 simoleons for the uh, taxi service. Oh, cool. Some of the stuff sold today. Some garlic and just garlic, really. People really like garlic in this town. The ironic thing is, if he had an inventing table, he could sell that stuff to the consignment store and make quite a good profit. Okay, Buck has just come by the pool. He's he's here alone in the middle of the night to go for a swim. <laughs> and Pitkin's just like sleeping here in the public pool. To be honest, he could probably write a book or something at the library. Let's speed this process up. Let's start a non-fiction novel. <laughs> I don't know. That's technically not a good idea. This is like going against time travel 101. I mean, all right, we'll pay the bills. It doesn't it doesn't make sense from a storytelling perspective, and I probably should have found a way to turn that off. Jenny Smith's upcoming party. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go to that because then he can actually sleep properly and shower and stuff. And also, might as well do that convince Logica's great thing while we're there. You sold items worth thirty-eight simoleons. So we're now up to two nine. We were up to three hundred and eleven a minute ago. <laughs> hey, we just kill round to use your facilities. That's the whole reason I'm here. And convincing pollination technician about the logic. I'm not walking all the way to the grocery store now. I'm sorry, Vidkins. Your bubble bath is gonna have to wait. You can have a, an, a regular bath. That's just as good as a bubble bath. And then you can get told off for behaving inappropriately. Oh no, Jenny! Jenny's collapsed. Jenny, just let your brother from a different reality use <laughs> use the bar. Sneak down there and do it before she can stop you. It's time to leave. No, <laughs> Jenny, why? There, just convince him before he goes in the house. Is this gonna happen or not? <laughs> just standing there. Come on, man. He's thinking about how to convince him, clearly. Okay. Why is he laughing? That's just rude, Vidkind. That took way too long.
Jonachush? Come on, newbie! I wish if we could get back into the party now. You convinced him logic's great. I don't know if she's coming or not. She greeted him, but then nothing happened. I think he's temporarily banned. Wait, if pollination technician invites him inside. Oh, they're all leaving now. <laughs> they're, like, they're like queuing for something out here, but they're not moving. Ooh, I think someone just aged up in there. I think it's someone's birthday. Like Tycho's birthday, probably. It's just shooting off confetti. <laughs> Can you answer the door? But I don't think it counted before. Somebody answer the door, man! It's probably too late now. It's gonna say it's too late to visit anyone. Oh my god. Very rude. Just ignoring Bidkin. Is this because he broke your sink the last time you visited? We're gonna go to the grocery store and we're gonna buy some bubble bath. And then I'm gonna see if I can use bubble bath in someone else's house, but I don't know if that's gonna work. So this might be a huge waste of money, but I think Vidkin needs the morale boost. Should really wait till it's on sale. Also, we need to take 10 off for the taxi. I'm sorry, Vidkin. God, this is gonna take forever at this rate. Um, first I'm gonna have him eat an apple. That way he won't get interrupted by being hungry. And now it's time for the bubble bath. That's pretty cool, so you can just bring your own bubbles everywhere you go. There we go, now we have the tranquil moodlet. We can sell the bubble bath later, maybe, to the grocery store. That way we can get some of the money back, because we've only used a little bit of it. <laughs> Sim logic. Oh, is he gonna say this every day? I know about the papers, but we can't go back, it's too far away. Should have thought about that before, but I didn't have... I hadn't made up half the rules by that point, so I didn't know what I was doing. Like, I literally made up all of the rules for this gameplay uh, as I was going along. I didn't really have any hard and fast rules for it, but I wanted to make it more interesting, so I've added a bunch of constraints. Why a dartboard? Vidkind your wands! <laughs> it's like, priorities! Ooh! Oh no, it's already 5pm! Oh, I don't know if we're gonna get there in time. Is that the... it's just a random mime. <laughs> it's just... Wow, he has a expensive car, that mime. So hopefully this stuff sells over the next few days. And then we have to go back to the library. Oh, it's Tycho! And Pascal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> really? Pa Pascal was just like, you know what, I'm leaving now. We're gonna leave uh, Tycho here with Vidkind, and then I'm just running away to view some flowers. Pascal, feed Tycho. <laughs> All the kids in this town are starving. <laughs> Somebody feed these children. Is he gonna feed Tycho? Finally. Genius couch potato. I think he's gonna take after Laszlo. He's not a couch potato here, but I feel like it's a trait that Laszlo might have. We're so close to finishing this book. Yeah, how much are we gonna get for it? Six royal payments of 33 simoleons. And we're up to writing level three now, so we're gonna celebrate by eating a potato. <laughs> Just realized there's a gym here. And, uh, <laughs> so stupid. I should have gone there before, because I bet they have showers there. We're going back to the library. I'm gonna start another book. So let's write a sports book, because that will give us the most money. If we stay here, there's a library here. We can just, we can do our work from here from now on. It's like a couple of horses over there. Oh no, the horse is going to the loo. This moodly should last for eight hours and I'm hoping it will sort of um, help to avoid the stress. It's 
She's just sort of ominously standing here in the library, not doing anything. Oh good, I've sold more stuff at the consignment store. So now we're up to 410. So I think we have something like 800 maybe more to go. We're about 50% of the way down with this book. Okay, we're gonna stop temporarily so we can eat some grapes. I like that you can just eat the grapes sitting down. <laughs> it's very efficient so I don't have to step up or leave the computer area. What's this? Be invited inside? What's happening? Be invited inside where? Where is Laszlo? Oh my god, are you joking? Is that from the other day when he was knocking on their door? Did like Glaslow finally get back to him? I think it's because he was like glitched and in the middle of doing something. Oh my god. Did he really just come all the way over here to invite him into the house? <laughs> that was days ago! It's like, I was busy but I finally finished and now you may come in the house. If I go over there... Oh my god, that's broken as well. Um. No, I don't seem to have access to it, so... Come on, you can do it! Okay, so, wow, that was a big step up. Now we just need to get uh, somewhere between 200 and 400 more. <laughs> and then we have to start the process of actually building the time machine, which requires level 9 inventing, so this is going to end up long. I'm going to have to cut lots of this out. I think sports is still the best option, really. So <laughs> who knew Vidkind was going to be making all his money writing sports books? Getting your players sponsored. Tank Grunt. Is he wearing like gloves for some reason? You see people like handle very old books and they don't want to get the oil from their skin on the pages. <laughs> That's what it looks like he's wearing. He's come here to read some important manuscripts. What is that? Compendium of Curses? I feel like that's a magic book. Maybe it's just a book about swearing. <laughs> Tank Run is secretly a spellcaster. The plumbing casualties increase. All of these toilets and sinks are really cheap, to be fair. Yes, okay, so we've got enough now. So now we can start inventing stuff. And he can also purchase scrap, but I don't want him to do that really. Let's go to the junkyard and uh, collect as much as we can, and then I'm gonna start doing it. I should probably work out exactly approximately how much it takes. There's probably someone out there that's written a kind of guide. I like how his um, glasses sort of glow in the dark. I need to remove um, some money from him, I think. 71. There we go. Gosh, this is a really hard lot to get to. Gadji takes a lot of time if you wanted to live here casually. It's cool though, I like how it's in the middle of nowhere. Who is that photo supposed to be? This bed is not as good as the one in the... No! I hate it when sims do this, it's like you were already in bed! Oh. Astounding. Vidkind has made a magical gnome of invention. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. That's cool. Attack of the ghost cactus. <laughs> what he's actually doing is just um, hammering his hand and then sprinkling, like, random junk. <laughs> like it's confetti. He's just throwing, like, random bolts and other junk onto the top of this. The animations for this are so funny, really. Oh, he's still thinking about his iguana friend. That's sad. Normally they don't run away from my inventory that quickly. Maybe it's because he didn't interact with him at all. Is that the paper kid? This is so far away from everywhere. He has to do all of this before school. It's 12pm now, so he's very late. He might make it to school in time for the end of the day. <laughs> While we're here, we should cancel the newspaper service. That way the paper boy can go to school. <laughs> also, we don't need the papers. We have been here so many years in this time. The time works differently here to how it does in The Sims 2. 
Oh, wow, that was quick. She's just, just aged up. Jill and Rip have both started dating. Is there no one watching the TV? Oh, I was wondering what the heck happened there. Sims 2 video. Evil servos. There's actually a lot of interesting gnomes in The Sims 3. I was gonna make a video on gnomes at one point, but I just I haven't gotten around to it. The Sims 3 gnomes are particularly cool. There's one that actually turns teddy bears into uh, vampire gnomes. And create more inventions with less scrap. That could be useful. I'm gonna go with that one for now. Let's see. No, it can run. <laughs> well, you can still get the scrap from that. Wow, one whole piece of scrap. That's great. <laughs> it's really great. Tank Ron and Jill Smith. I thought she was dating Rip. Damn, Jill. <laughs> it's just like working away through the brothers. Why is it not working? What if I just cancel it? Like, will that work? Now, let's try this again. I'm gonna put up some of his inventions for consignment. Why are people just coming to the junkyard to like read books? I guess she came with Johnny. It's a lot of plumbing stuff he's just sort of chucking away. I'm guessing that's not necessary as part of the time machine. It's really is like a giant pile of junk, like good lord. Look how big that is. Got this chair. Maybe a washing machine, but like it's it looks like it's got tire tracks all over it. There's a car. Let's detonate it and see what happens. Actually he's still singed. He may die. Oh no. I can't do that. No! That's not good. <laughs> that should have killed him. I tried to stop that from happening. But I feel like that should have killed him because he was already singed and that was a giant explosion. Apparently Vidkind is a immortal over here. Well, let's get some of these piles of junk. This junk pile has already been detonated today. Come back tomorrow and try again. What? It didn't even detonate properly, first of all. Like, the pile is still all there. Despite the explosion, only a few pieces, like, fell off. And it's just, that's just hilarious. They come back tomorrow and explode our stuff then. Only one explosion per day. <laughs> what? So it's like some agreement they have with whoever owns this lot. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that exploded everyone, didn't it? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they all got hair thing. I'm sorry, guys. It's for a good cause. This is cute. They've just been exploded, but I, they're uh, flirting with each other anyway. I feel like they have more important things to worry about right now, but they're just gonna <laughs> stand around here flying and giving you guys each other flowers. I love how determined Johnny is. I guess he takes after his uh, scientist uncles. It's like nothing will deter him from getting his scrap. It's kind of cute, but they're just doing this in front of their like teenage son. He texted both of them. He's like sat there right next to them, but he just decided to text. The amount of flowers they must have, because they keep giving each other flowers. His social is actually getting low now though, despite being a loner sim. Something about almost dying in a giant explosion makes uh, Vidkin kind of lonely. And miss home. Is that the rubber duck? Oh, this is one of my favourite inventions that you can get in this game. It's the floating duck. Detonate Bark and John. Well, I mean, it, it, they do keep getting clogged around the uh, town, so why not, I guess. 
That's working, but that doesn't seem to be working. I don't know why. We're up to eight. Somebody's at the door. Oh, look, it's the guy from the consignment store. Oh, there's a heat wave. Wavy cactus. I'm gonna have to take one more trip back down over here. What is that? I can't even see in the dark. I guess that's some kind of sink. It looks like the cooking machine, the fortune cooking machine from World Adventures, but I don't know why it would be here and why would it be spewing out water? Erin Beaker and Nervous Subject. That's an interesting pairing. <laughs> Story of Regression pairs up some random sims. I feel like Nervous wouldn't want to be a Beaker after everything that happened. Beaker is really better than Subject out of the two. They're going to be called singles now. Even though that makes no sense. That's like their chosen name because of the singles household. It was a fortune cookie machine. What was it spewing out? It looked like it was a broken sink or something. Okay, what should we get? Let's get some peaches. Cucumber, corn, blueberry, apple, grapes. Just get a bunch of random stuff. Pears, strawberries, can you just eat honey on its own? I'm gonna try. We're gonna drink some honey. <laughs> it's, it's a nutritious meal. Life is sweet from drinking honey. You do get a moogle out of it, which is nice. I'm gonna try making another floating duck because it won't flow and that's the best part of the that's the whole point of the invention, is the duck is supposed to float. So... I'm making another one, and I hope this one works. Improved floating duck. Right, because this just says floating duck. I wouldn't say this is the improved version if this version isn't working at all. It's working! I love this invention. It's like one of my favourite things. Somehow even though he has eight invention skill, he still regularly hits himself with the hammer. <laughs> Inventing in this game is an entirely different skill set, so even though Vidkind is like a experienced inventor in the Sims 2 world, he has to learn a bunch of new stuff to invent stuff in this particular world because it's like a weird parallel universe where he can't stop hitting himself with a hammer. Yeah! So he actually has the want to build the time machine now. Um, I didn't really want to cancel any of these ones but I guess I'll to... The time machine is the whole point so he has to have that want selected. Oh my god! It's the time machine! So he wants to travel to the past and the future. Well, we're going to test it out by traveling to the past. Because the first time I ever used this was when I, after I bought the Into the Future expansion, I thought this was related to that and this was how you got to the future, but it's not. And so I went through all of that effort and it has nothing to do with it. And it's really stupid because obviously the workbench came with ambitions and all of this stuff came with ambitions. But I still thought it was somehow connected later with the Into the Future pack. <laughs> but it's like a completely different object that you use to get there. Oh, he's come back. And he really needs the toilet. Well, I swear he went to the past too. I think the one is broken, but this is basically what I was planning on happening. Because he's invented this time machine, but it's not quite working to get back to The Sims 2. Cassandra's gonna have to help him get the rest of the way there, because he's invented the time machine, but it's not going to the place he wants it to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd been thinking about making a video where like a sim went from one game to another for quite a while. 
So initially I planned for this all to be one video, but I ended up with hours and hours of recording. So this is now part two of three, and the next video should be the last one, uh, unless it ends up being too long, because I haven't started editing it yet. So in the next video it's going to be another Sims 3 Let's Play, and Cassandra's going to basically come over to the Sims 3 world to help Vidkind uh, get back to the Sims 2 world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.